So the other week, we did a compilation of shit that Newt Gingrich says, and it was in honor of him being on the new version of Crossfire on CNN. Well, buckle up, because we have an even better compilation of Gingrich saying idiotic things. Uh, what we did is mixed the secular talk compilation with a new Media Matters compilation. Enjoy. With emergence, with immersion in English, so people learn the common language of the country, and so they learn the language of prosperity, not the language of living in a ghetto. The secular socialist machine represents as great a threat to America as Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union once did. Mr. Speaker, respectfully. Isn't that wildly over the top? No. We have to, frankly, break the back of the secular socialist machine, elect people committed to representing the American people, and then methodically rip the system apart. There is a gay and secular fascism in this country that wants to impose its will on the rest of us, is prepared to use uh, violence, to use harassment. Uh, I think it is prepared to use the government if it can get control of it. Gingrich warned of a takeover by atheist radical Islamists. People who disagree with the Bush policy administration, Look, comparing them to those who enabled Hitler? Yes. People like me are what stand between us and Auschwitz. I see evil around me every day. What if President Obama is so outside our comprehension that only if you understand Kenyan anti-colonial behavior can you begin to piece together his actions? And he says, goes on to say, that is the most accurate predictive model for his behavior. I think that the mother killing the two children in South Carolina vividly reminds every American how sick the society is getting and how much we need to change things. The only way you get change is to vote Republican. You recently said black Americans should demand jobs, not food stamps. You also said poor kids lack a strong work ethic and proposed having them work as janitors in their schools. Can't you see that this is viewed at a minimum as insulting to all Americans, but particularly to black Americans? No, I don't see that. No. It tells you everything you need to know about the difference between Barack Obama and the five of us, that we actually think work is good. We're really puzzled uh, here at Gingrich Productions. We spent weeks trying to figure out, what do you call this? We will have the first permanent base on the moon, and it will be American. There's an enormous difference between a culture which believes it is purely secular and a culture which believes that it is somehow empowered by our creator. And I always tell my friends who don't believe in this stuff, fine. How do you think we came, to, we're randomly you know, gathered protoplasm? We could have been rhinoceroses, but we got lucky this week. President Obama is the most effective food stamp president in American history. I also am an amateur paleontologist, so I've, I've spent a lot of time looking at the Earth's temperature over a very long time. When we first developed the automobile, it was called the horseless carriage. Getting to Mars as rapidly as possible, building a series of space stations and developing commercial space. I believe the NRA has been too timid. A Gingrich presidency will submit to the United Nations a treaty that extends the right to bear arms as a human right for every person on the planet. I'm, I'm assuming there's some rhythm to Barack Obama that the rest of us don't understand, whether, whether he needs large amounts of rest, whether he needs to go play basketball for a while. Uh, I don't you know, watch ESPN. I mean, I don't quite know what his rhythms are. Frankly, he happens to be a partial part-time uh, uh, president. I mean, he really is a lot like the substitute referees in the sense that he's not a real president. I mean, I have no, I don't have to go around and point out the inconsistencies of people who aren't going to be the nominee. They're not going to be the nominee. You're going to be the nominee. I'm going to be the nominee. Awesome. There's two things about Gingrich that really piss me off. First is confidence does not replace actual intelligence. And he thinks it does. He thinks if he asserts himself confidently enough that he'll do people over, and I mean, he does with the Republicans, but the Republicans aren't all that bright. Everybody else sees right through his nonsense. And the second thing is that since he is the establishment, 
I mean, he was Speaker of the House, he's been in the media ever since. All the mainstream outlets take him seriously. When they shouldn't. I mean, here is a guy who says absurd, factually incorrect things all the time. He's a joke, but he's taken seriously by our clownish media.